Okay, this is the FP1 January 2013, question 5. This is on the roots of quadratic equations. Now, what we're told is that the roots of the quadratic x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0 are alpha and beta. And first thing that we need to do, a very traditional question with this, is to write down the value of alpha plus beta and alpha beta, the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. So this is all about referring back to um, if you had the two roots as alpha and beta, then you would be able to write the quadratic in this form, x minus alpha, x minus beta is equal to zero. That's what it means to have alpha and beta as roots. So if you expand this bracket, you get x squared minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta is zero. And it's from this that we can then compare um, this equation to our original equation. So we can write down immediately what alpha and beta is and what alpha and beta is. So if you compare it, if minus alpha beta has got to be t plus positive 2, then alpha plus beta would have to be minus 2. And similarly, if alpha beta is minus 5, well, there you are. Alpha beta is minus 5, very easily spotted. So these are the two values that you're looking for. Then we need to calculate alpha squared plus beta squared. Well, we're going to get alpha squareds and beta squareds by expanding alpha plus beta squared. Because when we do that, we get alpha squared plus 2 alpha beta plus beta squared. So, if you reorder that and get alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to then I could write that as alpha plus beta squared minus the 2 alpha beta. Because I take that 2 alpha beta from both sides, so I move it over to the left-hand side. So now I've got an expression for alpha squared plus beta squared in terms of what I've already found. I've got alpha plus beta, and I've got alpha beta. So I've got alpha plus beta squared, so minus 2 squared, take away two lots of alpha beta, so take away two lots of minus five. So that's four, minus two times minus five is plus 10, so we get 14. For part C, find a quadratic equation which has roots alpha cubed beta plus one and alpha beta cubed plus one. So what I need to do in order to do that is to find the product and the sum of the roots. So the product is multiplying alpha cubed beta plus 1 by alpha beta cubed plus 1. Okay, so I expand those brackets. So multiplying these two things together, we're going to get alpha to the 4 beta to the 4 plus alpha cubed beta plus alpha beta cubed um, plus 1. Okay? So, alpha to the 4, beta to the 4 is alpha beta to the power of 4. So I'm right, trying to write things in terms of alpha beta, uh, alpha beta and alpha plus beta in this case. So plus, now I could factorise that to take alpha beta out of a bracket and write alpha squared plus beta squared inside. Okay. So I've got alpha beta to the 4, so I've got minus 5 to the power of 4 plus minus 5 times alpha squared plus beta squared, which I already found beforehand, that was 14, plus that 1 on the end. Okay, so I plug that into the calculator. So I've got minus 5 to the power of 4 uh, plus minus 5 times by 14 plus the 1 gets me 556. So that's the product of the two roots. Now, 
I might just have enough space, we'll see. So for the sum, I've got to add these two roots together. Oh, let's not worry about putting a bracket in, I think. There. So for the sum, I need to add them together. So that's going to get me alpha cubed beta plus alpha beta cubed plus 2. Now alpha cubed beta plus alpha beta cubed, I've actually already found. That was the alpha beta times alpha squared plus beta squared, which was minus 5 times 14, which is minus 70. So that's minus 70 plus 2, which gets me minus 68. So the sum of the two roots is minus 68. The product is 556. So I can write the quadratic as x squared take away the sum, which is minus 68, x plus the product, 556 equals 0. Because it's got to follow this same methodology that we had up here. So x squared take away the sum of the roots, x plus the product of the roots equals 0. So we end up with x squared plus 68x plus 556 equals 0. And that is the quadratic that I'm looking for.